Hey, our friends, today we're going to be drawing Lego Hulk. Hulk smash! <laughs> All right, dude, you got your marker? Yeah! All right, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. You have something to draw with and some paper in front of you. I love Hulk. Uh -huh. Yeah, I especially love Lego Hulk. Yes. That's why I'm wearing the shirt. Yes, All and right. I'm wearing green too. Okay. <laughs> you ready to start? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do this. All right, dude, okay, we're gonna start with our paper landscape, mm -hmm. and we're gonna first start with his head, and we're gonna draw it right in the middle of the paper, but towards the top. And we're gonna draw two lines parallel to each other. So here we go. So one line, about that length, and then another line right next to it. Parallel means that they're running right next to each other like a railroad track. There we go. And then we're going to connect the bottom with a curved line. And this is going to help us draw the bottom of our Lego head. There we go. Okay, now let's draw his hair. And we're going to draw the inside line of his hair first. And it's going to be a zigzag line that comes across is the top and connects the two lines on the top. And you can just make it look messy. Then we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna draw the outside line of his hair. So I'm gonna come down on both sides, put a little point there, and then we'll come back up and we'll do a curve rainbow line to draw the top of his hair. There we go. <laughs> Good job. I like it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, now let's draw his mouth. He's got a really angry mouth. And we're going to draw two more lines inside. And I'm spacing them out so that this space here and here is pretty equal. So three equal spaces. Good. And then let's connect the top with a curved wavy line because he's angry. He's got his mouth open. Okay, and then we'll draw the bottom of his mouth going up and back down. Nice, good job, I like that mouth. Now let's draw his teeth, the inside of his mouth. I'm gonna draw a thick line that goes through the middle. Awesome, okay, now let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw two ovals, and we kind of we wanna draw them kind of close together. So I'm gonna draw them, uh, one oval here, another oval next to it, and they're over his mouth, kind of close together, just like that. And we can color the bottom, and leave the top, white or shiny. Hey, he doesn't look like Hulk yeah. because he's not angry. So let's draw his big eyebrows coming in on top. Good job. Now let's draw his cheek line. A little diagonal line on both sides for his cheeks. Good. And then we can draw his lip line. And we're done with his head. Okay, now let's draw his shoulders and then we'll draw his body. Okay. So right here, let's put a little point right below his chin and don't go too far down. You want to keep it a little higher, higher. Keep going. Yeah, right there. That's a good spot. Now that's going to be the middle of his chest and we're going to draw a V that goes out from there and gets close to the side of his cheeks. Okay, and I'm going to draw another one on this side and you want him to be pretty equal. Good, and then one on the other side. Okay, now let's connect that V into his head by drawing his shoulder, his big uh, shoulder muscles on both sides. Good, now we can draw some more muscle lines. We draw two on this side, we can draw two on this side. All right, we got his neck in there. His shoulders, good. All right, okay, now let's draw two lines straight down from that V on the outside. Good. Jaw, that's awesome. Now we're gonna come down here and let's draw a little curve in between these two lines. Now this, not, this is gonna be his waist. So that's a good, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, let's see, yeah, right about there. Draw a curve. Okay, and then let's make it a little bit longer on both sides. There we go, good. You don't want his waist to be too skinny. In fact, mine's too skinny too. So I'm gonna come out even further so we get close to this line out here. And then we're gonna curve this line in. Now this is gonna be where his arms are connected and this is his waist. 
Awesome. Now let's draw a line straight down the middle. Okay, and then let's draw his, his chest muscles. A little curve. And then a curve on this side. And it curves up to the end of that straight line. I like how yours is higher. Good, I like that. That's awesome. Now let's draw his stomach muscles. So two lines that come down, both sides. Okay. And then we're gonna draw his inside muscles. Two curves like that. He looks pretty strong, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good job. Now we're gonna draw his arms. So we're gonna come out, we're gonna draw a big C shape like that on both sides. And we want these to be the same. Same size on both sides. <laughs> good, one on the other side. Awesome. Okay, now let's draw his elbow. So we're gonna start right here. And this line's gonna come down a little past his waist. And we'll do it on both sides. Okay, now we're gonna draw this forearm and this line's gonna, is gonna curve straight out. And then we want this to just come a little past his shoulders. Well, right, yours are pretty big shoulders. So you could just draw it right to the bottom of that shoulder. It's right about there. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Mine are aimed up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's a good, good. One on the other side. This is fun drawing things symmetrical because it gives you practice drawing them on both sides. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw his fist. So we're gonna come, we're gonna start right here and we're gonna come, we're gonna draw line up on both sides. And we wanna get close to touching his shoulder, but we don't wanna touch it. Good. And then one on the other side. Okay, now we're gonna draw the, the top and the bottom of his fist. So we want these to curve out both sides. It's kind of funny how we're making this. Yeah. <laughs> kind of going out crazy. <laughs> well, it'll make sense when we're all done. Good, now let's close off his fist on this side and same on this side. Now he has four fingers, so let's divide the fingers up. We'll put a line right down the middle on both sides. Okay, and I did it straight for the middle one, and then this top one's gonna be curved, and the bottom one's gonna be curved the other direction. And that's an easy way to get four equally spaced fingers. All right, now let's do his thumb. So we're gonna come up diagonal on both sides. Good, and then we're gonna come back down, diagonal. And then we can do an L shape to connect his thumb in. Awesome. Okay, now let's draw the inside of his hands. So the, this is the part where he hangs onto things. You can put things into his hands. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the inside part. Okay, and then we're gonna draw his wrist. So we'll draw kind of a C shape on this side. Backward C on the other side. That's his wrist. Good. And then we're gonna connect his forearm into his shoulder arm, or shoulder muscle. Okay, now, because he's a Lego toy, he's got a little part, he's got the inside of his arm right here. So we'll draw a diagonal line, comes down on both sides, and then we're gonna curve kind of next to his wrist, next to his wrist, and then we're gonna connect to his elbow. There we go. That's awesome. That's way cool. <laughs> All right, let's draw his shorts and his legs next. Okay. So we're gonna draw two lines that come out, and this is for his waist and his shorts. Okay, and then we're gonna draw a curve that, or a little line, let's do a little line first, down on both sides, and then we're gonna curve out for his leg, his thighs. Whoa, he's super strong. Okay, now we're gonna draw a little line inside on both sides. Good. 
and then we're going to curve down. This is for his foot, okay? All right, that's for his foot, and then these are going to be his toes, so a line straight down for his toes. And we want these lines to be coming out this way. Good. Now, this line right here, this last line, I drew them straight down. You kind of angled in. That's okay. Good job. Okay, now we're going to draw the bottom of his feet, but we want to make sure the spacing in between is right. And your legs might be a little small, but that's okay. So <laughs> let's do a little gap in between. I'm going to draw two lines in between his legs like this. And we could space those out a little bit more, but I want my legs to look pretty tough too. Okay, now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna draw another little line going this direction. Good, and I drew that right where this, this little bump right here on, that, on his thighs. Now we're gonna curve up and connect on both sides to that line. Good. Now let's draw the bottom of his feet. All right, now let's draw his toes. So we're gonna start right here, and this line is gonna diagonal up like this, and then down before we get to the end. You see that? So yeah, you could draw another line inside, and then draw the diagonal line up. Those are the front of his toes. All right, now let's draw his shorts. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes up like that, and we're gonna do that on both sides. Okay, and then right here, we're gonna do another V-shape. All right, so we're gonna draw five toes on here. So let's draw his big toe first on both sides. Yeah. And then we're gonna draw four toes. Remember how we did that? We split it in half, okay? And then we can split that in half again. There we go. We got his toes, five toes. <laughs> Good. Now, right at the top, I'm going to draw a little line, diagonal line that goes back. So it looks like it's 3D. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. All right, let's put some more details on his shorts. So we're going to do a wrinkle line here and a wrinkle line over here. Good. And then from that line, we're going to make the top. So I'm going to make this a little longer on both sides. All right, good job. And then we're gonna draw a line here on both sides. That's for his, his knee. And then we're gonna connect right here, connect over here. Now we're gonna connect this side of the line all, all the way to the top and on both sides. Okay, good job, dude. We finished him. We're gonna leave him just like this because we're gonna use our colored pencils to add more details on his shorts and to make him look more 3D. Yeah. All right, let's pick out our colors and we'll come right back. Yeah. All right, we got our colors picked out. We're gonna use a light green, a medium green, and a dark green. We're also gonna use a light brown and a, a medium brown and then a black and white, okay? So yeah. we are gonna do some shading on him so he looks super awesome. So mm -hmm. let's first start with his hair though. And I'm gonna use black and white, and we're gonna do a zigzag line, just like we did on the bottom of our hair, okay? And then I'm gonna do a zigzag line on the top. So we've got a little zigzag stripe up there, okay? Now, we're gonna color this black and the top black, and we're gonna leave the inside white. Okay. All right, let's fast forward. Good job. Now I'm going to get my white and I'm going to blend in between some of those marks and then that'll blend the pencil. And if you're, if you're using Prismacolor, this will work really well. If you're using Crayolas or something else, it might not look the same, but that's okay. Yeah. Just use what you have. There we go. Now it looks 3D. That's awesome. Okay, now let's work on his shorts. So let's use the light brown and the medium brown, and we're gonna draw some more, more lines on here to make it look 3D. Okay, so we're gonna draw a little line coming down on both sides of his knees, okay? 
Then we're going to draw a line that goes across his waist, so across the top of his waist. Okay, and then we're going to draw a line coming down from where his stomach muscles are. And they should aim towards this wrinkle here. Good. Awesome. Okay, and then we'll draw a line back. So it looks like a little check mark. Good. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to shade in on this kind of a light layer on both sides. Then we're also going to shade down here on the inside. This one on the inside, let's shade it a little darker. And then over here, we're also going to shade it in the dark. All right, now on his kneecaps, oh yeah, do draw color in on the outside here, on the outside of his thighs. Good. Okay, now on his cap, on his kneecaps right here, it's going to be a lot lighter. So I'm going to darken this one even more. There you go, so you can tell the difference. Okay, now let's go ahead and connect right here on the inside. And this middle part, we're gonna do just a really light layer. Okay, now right here on the front part, so the top part of his thigh, we're gonna do a light layer, but then fade up. See how it gradually got lighter? Mm -hmm. All the way to the white, and we'll do the same on this side. Good job, now we're gonna take our light brown and we're gonna blend everything and go over the whole, all of his shorts. See how that fills in? And it's gonna make his shorts look like they're made out of all the same materials, even though there's all these different angles to it. Last step on the shorts, we're gonna get our black, and we're gonna make a little triangle right here, and we'll color that in. So a little extra shadow just under his legs. There we go, good job, man. Okay, now we can put the, the brown off to the side and we're gonna use our greens now. So we're gonna take our first, we're gonna take our medium green and use this first. And we're gonna do a layer over everything with this color. But there are two places that we wanna leave uh, light, okay? So we're gonna, we are not gonna color the front of his toes. So we wanna make sure that we color here and here on his legs. We're going to color his chest, and the only other thing that we're going to do a little bit different is right here on his shoulder, we're going to start really dark, like this, and then as we get to the top, we're going to get lighter. So there's some highlights at the top. So if the light's shining from the top, the top of Hulk, he'd be light on the top and then dark on the bottom. So we'll do the same on this shoulder too. Okay, now everywhere else on Hulk, we're gonna color him with this green. So go ahead and we're gonna color him pretty solid, just like this, we're gonna press hard because we're gonna do the shading on top. All right, okay, so we got him filled in, but we're gonna come back over here, we're gonna do a light layer over the front of his toes, okay? And then we're gonna get our light green and we're gonna blend back over that. So this should make it look like there's light showing. He's gonna look a little more 3D. This is the highlight. So it looks brighter. And we're gonna come up here and we're gonna do the same thing on his shoulders. So blend the top of his shoulders into that medium green. Let's put our light green down and we can get our dark green. Now we're gonna start making him look super 3D. We're gonna start adding the shadow. So the first, the first shadow we're gonna add is right under his face or under his chin. So we want the bottom of his face to look round. And then we can also shade. So add a little dark, heavy, and then get lighter as you come to the front of his face. And that's gonna make him look like he has a 3D Lego face. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So you start really dark on the edge, and then as you get to the middle of his face, get super light. 
There we go, we got his face, that looks awesome. Now we're gonna add some more shadow. We can add some shadow to his shoulders. So these shoulder muscles. Both sides. All right, okay, now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna add some shadow underneath his, underneath his, his uh, chest muscles, right here. And then on the corner of his chest muscle, I'm gonna start super dark and then get lighter as I go towards the top. And I'm doing it diagonally across. Here we go. The side of his body right here is gonna be solid dark. We'll fill that in, both sides. And then let's add a shadow on his stomach muscles. Then I'm also going to add some shading under his shoulders. So make it a little darker here, both sides. All right, now the shading on his forearm inside here is going to be really dark. So we're going to fill that in with black later. But we're going to start at the bottom, get really dark, come all the way up to the top and get lighter as you come to the top. And we're going to do the same thing inside here. This is going to be dark. If we go too fast, you guys can pause it at home. There we go, good. And then we can add shadow under each of his fingers. Okay, let's repeat those same steps over here on this side. Nice job, now we need some shadow on his legs. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes right here from the side and connects down to his toe. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. And then this inside part is gonna be really dark. And then we're gonna draw a really dark shape underneath his shorts. All right, good. Okay, the very last step is we're gonna add a little more 3D with the black colored pencil. So let's okay. come in here, and this is that toy. There's a toy uh, mark kind of on the inside of his his arm here and it's really dark inside there. So I'm gonna start dark and then get lighter as we get out to the inside of his arm and do the same on this side. Good, now I'm gonna do the same thing inside his hand. Get really dark and then light towards the, out, the inside. Here on the side of his body, we'll do a dark, also on his chest and we can get lighter as we come in to the middle. Okay, now the very last step is we can go back over if we want to and use our really light green and blend all those pencil marks so our Hulk looks smoother. Chuckers, man! He turned out awesome! Give me five! Did you have fun? Yeah! Now all of that shading, so when we go dark to light, it makes him look super 3D. Mm -hmm. And also the highlights, so the part where the light looks like it's shining on him, and then where there's shadows, it makes him look like he's popping right off of the page. Yeah! Yeah! But it's not important that your drawings look exactly like ours, right? Yeah. Most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, to have fun. We hope you guys had a lot of fun too, and we'll see you later, our friends. Bye. Goodbye. Hulk smash! Hulk smash! Peter